Hey everyone, it's Kevin here with Reviews About Anything, and today we have the Razer Viper Ultimate. Uh, I recently bought this. Uh, some of you may have seen my other video about the G Pro Wireless and my G903. I did get my G903 replaced, but I still had already purchased this. So I'm going to compare it against that and also, I guess, against my initial thoughts of the G Pro Wireless that I had. So uh, I'm going to unbox it real quick kind of give a first impressions and compare it to the G903, which I still have right now, to uh, give you guys an idea of, you know, size and weight and feel and things like that. So, as you can see, of course, Chroma Razors pretty famous for their hyperspeed technology, which is new, and the Focus Plus sensor, which is new as well for them. Uh, all that's right here. One thing that I'm going to I think I'll probably miss is with the G903, you can put the puck in the bottom and have the wireless charging mat. I know Razer has something simpler, uh, simpler, something similar. And uh, hopefully in the future, they'll have a revision of this mouse with that. Uh, I think they call it the Hyperfly or Firefly or something like that. I know they do it with the Mamba Ultimate. Uh, they have the wireless charging mouse pad. I really like that, especially with wireless mice. I just think that's a, a neat way to never have to plug it in. I know this has a crazy long battery life, just like a lot of the new uh, wireless mice do, obviously, but just still something nice that it'd be, you know, nice to see, obviously. So that's what it says there. On the side, we just have about the hyperspeed, how fast it is. Uh, I know there's been a lot of reviews on this with uh, how the mouse actually performs and compares to other products and stuff like that. So I know this is pretty top tier, uh, even compared to wire wired mice and things like that. Uh, this is one thing I'm really excited about is the Razer optical switch. Uh, actually my keyboard for my desktop has a optical switch as well. Uh, and I've never had any issues with those. So this should be interesting because obviously the G pro G903, G703 and the G502 all have this double clicking issue. Um, so, and part of that's due to the 50 million click Omron switches and their metal contacts and how they function as a switch. This one obviously won't have that issue because of the optical. So, let's break the seal here. Get this open. So, nice packaging. Uh, this is a nice closed cell foam right here, uh, another medium uh, cell foam, I guess, or something like that. It's kind of almost feltish in texture. You have the mouse on the right hand side. Wow, that is nice and light. Uh, you can also just barely, barely see the Razer logo. I don't know if you guys will see it on camera or not, but just faintly see it, which is nice. Some nice comfort grooves and the buttons as well. Yet again, super light. I'm excited about these skates that they call them. Uh, these are supposed to be real nice and smooth, especially compared to uh, the ones I have on my G Pro Wireless, or the G Pro Wireless and the 903. Feels good. All the clicks feel are nice. Um, if you have sweaty hands, as you can see, or clammy hands, or just warm hands, my hands are warm, but they're not wet at the moment. If you touch the mouse for some reason, you can see, yeah, you can see a little bit of, you know, color change, I guess. Interesting. Uh, down here on the bottom is where the dongle will live. Uh, if you want to travel with this mouse. Uh, it's in the box set right here in the charging dock. So here's that. So I'll put the mouse to the side real quick. Here's the charging base itself. Nice, has a nice sticky rubber bottom part here to help stick to your desk. Yeah, it doesn't move here much at all. That's nice. Take this foam out. Like I said yet again, real nice foam here. I like to see that the used close cell foam. It helps a lot with protecting your product. Uh, so that's nice. And then of course we have the 
razor <laughs> stickers and normal stuff. We have the uh, letter from the CEO and kind of just the information. And then we have the razor cable here. This is their new paracord-esque cable. Pretty, pretty light. Um, I mean, in the feel of like how the cord actually feels. Uh, I doubt it's any comparable to like, I know the M710 slash M711 from Cooler Mash is supposed to be great. The Glorious cables are supposed to be great, stuff like that. I've never used those mice, so I don't know how this compares to those, but in comparison to the G903 and the G Pro, this is <laughs> uh, markedly better, phenomenally better, honestly. So. Uh, it'll be interesting to play with this if I ever have to charge it, which is very rare. Normally, I'm pretty good about putting my mice on to the charger and stuff like that when I know they need it. But on occasion, of course, you do forget. So it'll be interesting to use this mouse wired. And that looks like that's it for inside the box. So I'm going to put this stuff back. One thing I'd like to check real quick. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is micro USB. I would have liked to see Type C, especially on a product this new. Um, but you know, I guess it is what it is. I like the uh, green accent that they do on these Razer products; it's pretty neat. Kind of just make it different. Oh wow, this is very sticky. Once you put that down, it's you actually have to pick it off. That's nice about that. Uh, I know, so here, down here, you have your two charging pins. Uh, they just, oh, it's magnetic. Yeah, which that's nice as well. So you have your charging base here. And then you don't even really have to line it up. It kind of just seats itself, which is nice. And so that's charging. A little bit of play in it, but as it should be, obviously, they're pins. They're a round pin to help charge just the two contacts, which is nice. So that's uh, this is a nice little base right here. This is helped can help you get the receiver closer to your mouse as well. I know if you have like a, a desktop or something like that. Right now I'm only hitting my laptop while I'm overseas and everything. So yeah, the micro USB just connects to the back of this right here. Looks like it has a nice flut uh, flush uh, connection here. Yeah, it seats in there real nice. So let's see how that looks when it's in the mouse as well. It is slotted. Uh, it might be hard to see, but there are slots. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get that to focus. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see there's slots on it. So that helps guide your uh, connector in like that. So that is nice and flush can barely feel the gap here is a little big but it's barely noticeable and of course the mouse feet are raised to keep that from happening feels pretty nice um, of course you know I only have two or three inches or so there put that there like that and then let's compare it to my current mouse uh, the one I just had replaced here's the G903 so if you guys have this mouse or are familiar with this mouse, we can look at it from a size standpoint. Very, honestly, actually very similar in size here. If we butt them up like that. The 903 is obviously a little dubious here with this uh, curve, kind of this cut, because you would try to line up on the bottom, obviously that's not correct. So you gotta shift up a bit. So the G903 is a touch taller um, the, depending on where you're gripping, it looks like they're about the same, but it's a touch wider here in the waist. Cause you look at it from this side, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but no, because it flares out. So yet again, the, the 903 is interesting shape because it, it flares here, tapers in, and then kind of strains out here, but it also flares up here. So when you're gripping it, you have a flare up at the top and you have a flare at the bottom, which makes you put your hand kind of closer 
grip wise. So when you grab your the pinky here and your and, uh, thumb here, kind of brings them close together because of how this waist comes. Where this this mouse more is I guess more traditional design, obviously, to where when you grab it, it's you're falling into those curves, but it's not super curved in and then flaring at multiple points. This is just a safer shape, obviously. Uh, one thing that I do like, like I said, is the comfort groups here. The 903, those are non-existent. And if you look at them from a height standpoint, the G903 it has a slightly bigger hump in the back. Here, this spot, if we compare them like that. So the, it's shifted further back where the hump is kind of here in the center lined and then tapers down. The hump is towards the back third here and then tapers off. So we'll have to see how, obviously I, I like the mouse uh, in comparison. Uh, I can tell you right now the click wheel I like better, um, or the mouse, middle mouse, I like better on the Razer right now because this new copy of the G903 that I got it's a nice satisfying click, but if you listen to my 903, you can barely hear it. It's not the, I love the scroll wheels. These scroll wheels are phenomenal, being able to do the free wheel and all that stuff, but this copy, the, the middle click is just horrendous. It's very mushy. Click one and two are very nice. Forward and back are nice. I have the plate in here to delete the right side clicks, but give you a comparison to obviously the razor here. I'll do them side by side as well for you. So mouse one, mouse two, middle, side buttons, uh, forward, backward and then this side I can't do but I'll do these for you as well sounds good shake test it pass as well let's hear this bottom button as well here so all good uh, I wish there was a DPI button here or something because uh, I do like being able to do the quick switch here because I use this mouse for everything obviously so I have it set to about a thousand DPI for regular use internet browsing everything like that and then when I get into gaming I do shift it down to about four or five hundred DPI depending on the game where this one I might just have to program these side buttons here to move my up and down DPI um, but overall we do a shake test here real quick that is that's fantastic. There's a little bit from the, if you shake it really hard, you get a little bit from the scroll wheel, but not much. Here's the 903. A lot more, obviously. Hold down the scroll wheel. Still a lot more. Uh, obviously, the complexity of this design here aids to, you know, the there's more points, there's more pieces, everything like that. So this aids to probably the shakiness of that. But this overall, this mouse seems really nice. I'm excited to use them. Excited to give you guys my impressions and overall feel. But yeah. So if you guys have any questions or if you have any other mice you'd like me to compare this to, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.